Well, hello everyone. I'm so happy you found me. My name is Jeanette Collins and I'm a brand new Stampin' Up! demonstrator. So I really am happy that you have clicked on my little picture and wanting to watch this video. I am doing a technique video to start off my little tiny series of, I think I'll be doing about seven cards and posting them up. So um, I'm gonna be using Sweetest Peach from Stampin' Up! It's a brand new set that came in the annual catalog, which just came out this past, uh, beginning of May. And anyhow, my technique is to make my peach as realistic as possible. So let's get started. I have just a basic white cardstock, and I'm gonna be using Pale Papaya ink, which is an in color for brand new in color, and Calypso Coral to help my, my peach become more realistic. This is such a beautiful, distinctive stamp set, meaning that the images have little raised edges that leave different opacities when you press it to the paper. It's not a flat image. Let me give you an example of what I'm gonna be showing you today. I played with this little set, <laughs> just the peach, and as you can tell, I did six of them here, and all six look so different. Well, how did I, how did I achieve that? That's what I wanna show you. Whatever I do here, you can also do with the little flowers. The flowers come, here's a couple of the little flowers. <laughs> the flowers are a trio in the stamp set, but you can use the same technique so you get that varied coloring. All right, here we go. My first thing that I did, and I, I know there's different ways, and I've watched some videos where they do it differently than I do, but this has been my way to get the best results like you saw just there. I ink up with the pale papaya, which is the lightest. And, let me move this down so I don't hit my stamps. And stamp. I hold it down so that the cardstock has a little time to absorb this dye ink. And Hold the paper down with your finger and lift. There's one. I'm gonna ink it up again with the pale papaya, the same color. Hold it down, hold the paper, and lift. Let's do it again. and stamp down, hold it, hold the paper, and lift straight up. Okay, as you can tell, I've already gotten some different variation in the coloring. Now, as the paint dries, paint, <laughs> as the ink dries, it will make a lighter color, so keep that in mind, and that's with all, all the dye inks. Now what I'm going to do to get the variation of color, like I, like I showed you in these, is to use an ink dauber. And that is one of these little things. You can buy them in the big box stores. But I do want you to know that Stampin' Up! is selling them. They are. They come in a, a, pack, a package of several of them. And if you need the Sweet as a Peach stamp set, you can order it through me. I would really appreciate that. But if not, if you already have it, then hope you will try this technique. Okay, I'm using the Calypso Coral this time and putting ink on my little dauber. Now I'm going to dab. I like to dab the, the top and then I like to go down that little area of the peach, that little rank, that little half moon. I just tapped it all the way down, not leaving anything too harsh to show. I'm gonna kind of look at my stamp through the through here and find that little half moon and down. 
Now, if it doesn't stamp perfectly, it's okay because our die cut will help you. And of course, you can always go back and trim up the edges if you really want to. And hold it down for a few seconds and lift. There, there's our first variation. It looks so much more real that way, I think. Okay, let's add more. Let's do the next one. I'm gonna do it a little heavier like I did in one of my other. Or actually, maybe what I'll do is I will go, instead of down this side, I'll go around the other. So I'm gonna to go to the top. I'm gonna to come down like I did before, but I'm gonna go on this edge and just stamp it up. Oh, I might as well hit the bottom a little bit too. And as you can, as you're inking, you can see that darker red on the stamp. I did not wipe my stamp at all. Now, if you get a lot of red ink, the Calypso Coral on it, you will have to wipe your stamp if you want to keep them going in different variations. Okay, let me line it up with that little half moon, and I'm also looking at the tip of of the peach and straight down you can already tell it's going to be different and it's going to be wonderful <laughs> by the way i do love stamping up i've used stamping up uh, before and i really enjoy their products i've been as a card maker for for a few years using different brands but i have come to love the quality of stampin up Look at that, isn't that interesting? Let's do this one now. This time I'm gonna take my little little towel, just a little tidy towel and wipe it off. It's just a little damp towel. And then I'm gonna dry it off because I don't want the moisture to blend in with my dye ink. There. And let's, let's go with my little dabber again. Dabber dabber. All right. Well, we've got it on that side, on this side. I'm going to go here and go down the side again. And now you can tell I'm not being as careful this time. I'm just kind of dabbing. And I'm going to come down this side, maybe more toward the middle. See what that does. A little heavier. Oh, isn't that fun? Okay, now you can really see how I've dabbed it. I've kind of left this um, edge open. Let's see what it does. That's what's so much fun about this, this little technique. And stamp down. Oh, I think I missed a little bit. That's because I'm standing. <laughs> oh, by the way, I do lives every Friday um, on Facebook at Stampin' to Connect. If you want to find my page, I do it Friday at 7 p.m. Central. That's 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Okay, like I said, I knew I missed a little bit, but hey, it's still beautiful. I think it's a gorgeous, gorgeous uh, just the variation. And now just remember, we do have the little die that will cut it out. And so then you'll be able to put these little peaches together. Here's some peaches I've already die cut. One with a little leaf I put on the front. They also have a little uh, double leaf that you can, I attach it to the back like this. So just whatever you want to do, but even these two are, are different. Now I have seen people um, make, do it all in one step. And I just want to show you how that's done. And I've also seen the rock and roll from, I don't know what era that was from, but I tried it and I thought that was very hard, especially with this small stamp. So I'm going to show you the other way that I've seen some people do it and they've actually stamped up with the lighter color. And then be, instead of stamping onto the cardstock, 
they take their dauber and then they ink up the the edges and I'll just show you how that looks and if you like that then you might want to do it this way this is my preference because the more times I've done it this way I couldn't get the variation I really wanted so but that's why stamping is so much fun because it can be individual and it's just so much fun to play and there we go so which do you like Give me a comment so I will know which method you like and be looking for my next video, which is actually a card tutorial. I believe I do one of these cards. Let's see, I'll just give you a sneak peek. I do this card with that on the inside. So look for my next video. I appreciate you being here today. Thank you for holding on and again, uh, you can find me at JeanetteCollins.StampinUp.net. If you'd like to order the bundle or the, the peach set, you can go here to shop. Or if you just go to StampinUp.com and put my name in, you'll find me there too. I would love if you were to shop with me. And I believe that's about it. Oh, and don't forget the Facebook Friday. That is on Facebook at Stampin' to Connect. I'll have that listed in the notes below. Thank you so much for being here. Bye.